All right, y'all, we have a lot of bags to get through. The air is gonna be on because I'm burning and I had a gummy just before this, so I'm a ticking time bomb. Let's do it. Ow, I was holding those for like ever for the thumbnail. So hold on, let me get this off. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my current favorite. This bad boy. I also really like the sounds that it makes. It's jingling like that because I think my AirPods are in here. Let's see. Ronnie says that my AirPods are like a cat toy. But look at this vibe. Like, are you kidding me? How cute. Um, please ignore that it is decapitated. It kept coming off at the airport and I didn't want to lose it, so I just took it off. Anyway, I'm going to close it now. the shape it just like makes the best sounds mentioned in another video that I started kind of going crazy with handbags um, so I'm very excited to show you all the, the handbags that I've been getting and then also the ones that I've had for a while that just don't get much use until now all right so that was that one next you've seen this in a different video but I think it deserves its moment so this one I put on my wish list because this actually attaches to your phone. Well, I had to get like an adapter to make it attach, but this actually attaches to your phone so that you can talk on the phone. On the phone. Hello. And I got it because I thought this microphone type thing to my phone when I filmed that I could film a video that sounded like I was on the phone. It would add like a different sort of mic effect. But unfortunately, it didn't. It actually... It actually did not. It only works as a speaker and not not as a microphone so when I did the phone video I just had my editor add in a telephone sound because unfortunately I could I really like the little buttons. I almost said rotisserie. This is a rotisserie phone. I really like the rotary phone. I remember being very, very little, like a toddler. And at my grandparents' house, they still had a rotary phone. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it is trash so I think some people are going to be taking out their trash. We're going on this journey together, y'all. We're going on it together. Anyway, I love, like, pen leather. Sounds like that. Oh. If you can't already tell, I am battling allergies. I think it's from having grabbed all of these bags out of the closet. And I guess it kicked up dust or something, so we're just gonna have congested ASMR. 
that sounds horrible. Anyway, whatever. What do you like better? These? Or these? Or these? What do you think? My vote's on these. Alright, next one. I like this one because it's funky. It looks like an illustration in real time. Like, how cool is that? Ooh. one's just got a million different little sounds. And it's like kind of a canvas material. But the best part is this. How cool is that? I haven't used it yet because I didn't know what outfit to wear with it. Honestly, this outfit, let's be real, this is sick. I was gonna go to a show tonight, um, but they sold out, like, as I was buying the tickets. But next time, I'm totally wearing this. Like, I was kind of gonna go for this vibe, but definitely, because originally I was gonna wear the, the strawberry purse with it, because look. How cute is this vibe? But I think the other one. What do you think? Which one would you wear with this outfit? This one or this one? Hmm? What do you think? Oh, by the way, all of these are either from a gift shop or thrifted or some form of secondhand. <laughs> Except for two of them, which I will tell you where they're from. This one's all fucked up because it's thrifted, but I couldn't not get this. gonna make my allergies real bad, y'all. This one's really dusty. I left it in the closet for a while and we're like redoing the room. There's a lot. Oh god. Next, we have a little bit of a vintage number. Um, some of you are going to be really mad that this is considered vintage, or I guess retro, or whatever, but 
Either way, it's a throwback. But it's this Juicy Couture Daydreamer bag. Um, cause I always wanted one as a kid. Um, but we couldn't afford that shit. But now, I got myself a Juicy Couture bag that Kid Me had always wanted. Little Luna. It's loud as fuck, though. I went to like a like a, one of those like secondhand online shops and stuff to try and see who the fuck has had one of these. I still don't know what to wear it with. This has been my problem with handbags for a very long time. I'm never like I never know what to wear them with, and I just put everything in my pockets. But I've been like I always love handbags. I love looking at them. I always go to the handbag section at the store, especially the thrift store. And I don't know what happened, but now I'm like wanting to carry a handbag everywhere. And so I was like, oh, well, let me get the handbags that I've been wanting. Ooh, that was loud. Oh, it's just so early 2000s because it's like, first of all, look at the shape of it. Second, the way that it's just like, the way that it's like kind of gaudy. I this is my favorite part. My favorite part is that it's got these. Oh, hold on, it's on the other side. My, I got so scared that there was a hole at the bottom of the bag that there's just like a little tiny mirror. Anyway, it's got these pockets on the inside. Sorry, I'm trying to make the charms not make so much noise. Okay. It's got these pockets on the inside. This one that says hello, that's for like a phone. That shit does not fit like 90% of people's phones today. It's like the size of like one of those like Nokia ones or like a tiny flip phone. Oh, it's just so 2004. I love it. Very 2006 actually. I really fucking love the 2000s. I just love it. Okay. This one was also thrifted. How cool is this? I guess it's supposed to look like a like a tin of some sort. I don't entirely like what is it? are there supposed to be oranges in this tin? I don't really get it. But it looks to be styled as like a tin of some sort. And I really like things that look like other things, if you haven't already noticed. Um, so, even though I didn't really know what was going on here, who cares? Ooh, very reflective. You can see the mic. This is my favorite. It's just so good. Y'all know I love this sound. Okay. And like bag opening sounds. Bag sounds are just awesome. Dang, no surprises. Every time I thrift something, I always just like hope that I find something in like the pocket or something. Next up is the one I'm currently using for like everyday life.
And normally, I'm gonna put this around myself so it stops banging on the thing. Normally, I don't like, I would not have gone for this, but I was desperate for a bag for an event that I had to go do. I think that's what might have started the handbag thing because I was like, oh, having a handbag was actually really nice at this event and I didn't feel like weird, but like, I actually liked it. It ended up not feeling uncomfy. So, I think that's what started it. Anyway, I wouldn't have normally gone for this bag, but Ronnie was like, yo, this is nice, it's simple, I think it'll fit the things you need. And at first I was like, oh, I guess so, because we can't find anything, and like, I was literally doing the shopping, like, hours before the event. Uh, it was actually really cool, it was to, uh, the music video premiere for Olivia Rodrigo's Vampire, which was super cool, like, how cool, I got to go to a premiere. just so good. I wish you could just squeeze it. Alright. This one was a gift from ASMR Shani. And it's a Kirby backpack. Kirby backpack. Kirby backpack. reminded me of the time that I put that bracelet over the mic and just like over it. It has little stars. I also really like the baby blue on the straps and then it's like a pink ribbon sort of vibe. It's just so cute. So that's curbs. Next we have a very similar one, but it's power book. Please tell me this is not old candy. Hold on. <laughs> no, it's gummies. But in like, it's not old candy, but it's gummies. If you know, you know. Um, should I have one? No.
I'm gonna film another high sensitivity ASMR after this. Anyway, so this was the Powerpuff Girls backpack with with a gummy in one of the pockets. This one I got at Spirit Halloween. But I also feel like you could get it at places like Box Lunch and things like that. Let's see if there's anything in the big pocket. There's a ton of stuff in here. some stuff. That's awesome. Okay. Next is this iridescent beauty. Oh, that's just so beautiful. Oh my god. Nope, there's nothing in here. I used to use it as a pool bag to put, like, I don't know, all my pool needs, I guess. little bitty backpack. It's not real animal. This like faux alligator print. Alligator. Well, I glitched. Um, a faux alligator or faux snake something or other. because I was coming up with a sort of animal themed outfit. Um, I was gonna hang out with my friends and we were gonna make the theme like animals and things like that for like how we dressed. So I got this like last minute because I was shopping for like how am I gonna make my animal theme? Um, and then we ended up not being able to hang out so it was a last minute purchase and then we weren't able to hang out. for things. So like the fact that we're doing a hangout with like an outfit theme. Uh, I also used to do that with a different group of friends where we would all visit each other's Animal Crossing islands and make a theme. Like what's the theme for how our Animal Crossing character is gonna, is gonna dress for this like island hopping that we're doing. Juicy Couture one that I found also online. 
from like a Depop type website. I don't think this one's like one of the vintage ones. I don't remember these being part of the vibe. But I had been looking for a... F There's the trash. <laughs> I had been looking for um, a black heart-shaped purse and I hadn't found one that I like really liked and then I saw this one and I was like, it's fluffy! It was when I was on the hunt for the vintage one and I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I'll get this one. So, those are all of my handbags. I'm so happy I got to make this video finally. I've been wanting to do her so long. Because I was like, I bet that all of these have like great textures and things like that that like I haven't really paid attention to very much. And now, yeah, yeah, they fucking do. Wait a minute. I I forgot another one. Okay, now last one. Is this little buddy? So I think somebody at the thrift store donated like their entire collection and it was just like a ton of purses and backpacks of different kinds of things like this. little frog. I like the idea of wearing this with an outfit that's very like, that's like a black leather jacket sort of chic outfit and then you just have this little froggy purse. I'm thinking like a white top, black leather jacket, black jeans, and some boots. And then BAM! Mr. Frog. And also, Mr. Frog has some secrets. Where are these secrets? What? Oh no, I swear to god. Oh, I found Mr. Froggy's secrets for a second. I thought I lost them. It's a bunch of knives. It's little knives to put on the zippers and I don't know why Mr. Froggy has these but I think it's great so why don't we put them on you know why we don't put them on actually because this is actually really hard to do right now because of the way I have everything set up so we're just going to put Mr. Froggy's secrets back in his pocket might be like a character from something that I don't know about and this character happens to have knives <laughs> I don't know, somebody tell me if this is a character from something oh, you're so cute okay, that's all of them I hope I'm right this time yeah, I think that's all of them See you later.